Oh, hello! I think we already did that. Let him contemplate his existence. Bop. Yeah, same spot, same situation. What is up, beautiful people? It's Saladin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Fenrir, a say, casual conquest in Smite. We're accompanied here by what looks like a Merlin in mid plane against a, I think, Janus and either Erlang on Habwa jungle. It's a casual match. We have Habwa mirror. Yes, Vulcan is in solo lane. That probably makes Erlang an ADC. That is correct, that means the Janus is in mid. Uh, Fender jungle, very strong jungle, uh, nothing OP, but uh, very successful, very effective. And considering that they have a Havwa in the jungle, which by the way Fenner is a direct counter to Havwa in case you don't know, I think we have a pretty good, hand, uh, pretty good game on our hands. Habo is contesting this, my man. Oh, he body blocked himself. And he's dead. That is just unfortunate for him. It's not like a representation of why Habwa is so hard to play into Fender. Looks like this Janus wants to kill himself as well. Let's let's give him that. Body blocks. He's gonna portal back. We got half of his HP. Oh, the red buff is down already. Huh. I guess it took that while we were killing Habwa. We should be able to kill him now. He pushes up again. That's a stun. Buddy blocks. Okay, we get the beats. The damage wasn't exactly there. He's pretty low. He is willing to stay. I feel it. I hear him talk. I'm gonna blink in and kill him. There he goes. I still can brutalize out. There you go. I don't feel like I need to leave. If we kill a couple minis on the red buff, I will be able to sustain myself back. Let's ward up in case uh, Habwa decide to go crazy about it. We're not uh, spending any mana here. Okay, we can gank. Orlang is pretty low. We should be able to murder him pretty easily. Oh shit, I don't have a stun. I debated my people I need a stun. There we got a stun. I'm sorry, boys. Yeah, Apollo is mad because I had to double back on that big harpy. Unfortunate. But overall, we got two kills, traded for one. He shouldn't have died, but it's my fault. So what works here for Fenner's jungle? If you hit your one, it's an extremely uh, hidden on the god. It's an extremely short cooldown. The cooldown is getting halved. And if you have five runes, it's a constant stun. That's why we also build attacks. Oh, look, the blue buff is down. We build attack speed boots because we can stack up better. Plus, attack speed boots give more stats overall. You should always go attack speed. Oh, a low Vulcan. Let's pay him a visit. Just deal some annoying damage to him. We didn't take any tower shots, which is preferable. We're gonna grab this totem because Habo apparently is struggling against the Vulcan, which is surprising. Habo is a big bully. Looks like Vulcan's still out of position. I want to bully him as, as much as I can, but he's under tower. Nothing I can do here. We're going to pay a visit to the enemy Hellboy instead. Just abuse that fact that we're countered. There he is. He might actually be dead here. Yeah, look at that brutalized damage. He should have waited till I finished my brutalize and then tried to knock up. That was his last chance. Probably I would have died from that. He misplayed and I took a kill for free. We are 4-0-1, we're part of 100% of our kills. It's early game, which is understandable, but still quite a significant achievement. Early to mid game, Fenner is a beast, and we're gonna build him in a way that will allow us to get the late game pressure as well by having a lot of attack speed and ability to box with our two that gives insane power spike. That's the way I build. Oh, hello, Janus. You can die. That's his beats. Okay. Let's look around. He might still be here. Oh, my game froze. I think... Oh, Jesus. 
I think I hit him once, but my game unfortunately froze as soon as I blink in. Not sure how that's gonna look on the recording. Looks like Nike was able to secure the kill, which is still unfortunate, but at least we traded evenly. So yeah, my game has frozen. I assume that Janus ulted. I saw the animation, but I wasn't able to uh, understand what was happening exactly there. Unfortunate. I'm gonna find why it happened later, but right now let's not dwell too much on this. Rotating for the mid cam and looking for that Habwa. Oh, hello. Just some free damage on ammo, nothing major here. Damn, her two hurts. We can still lifesteal and heal up with her two, no problem. I wish that Habwa was alone. I can bully him in jungle quite effectively. The thing that works here against the Hawa that our Brutalize is knockup immune. Let's stun him, let's use our ultimate, leave him inside the two of Merlin. Ooh, damn. That Janus damage. Well, that is extremely unfortunate what we have in our hands right now. We were quite ahead and our whole advantage just completely disappeared because we managed to die two times in a row in a very unfortunate way. I should keep an eye on my position better now. Looks like your lung is getting killed by Apollo. Yep. So my rotation doesn't quite do anything here, unfortunately. Let's check up on the red buff. Their whole jungle is down. I see someone. Okay, that's Janus. Hello, Janus. Just some damage. Oh, yeah, he portaled out. Need to juke that. Don't want to take another third of my health from that. When she fully charges, it deals some damage. Janus still pushes up. I warded there to see him behind me. But yeah, he, he took a safe route to the mid, which is understandable. Oh. Hmm. Looks like uh, my r luck ran out. So we kind of miss all the farm. And enemy Habwa is actually level 8, while I just hit level 7, which is extremely unfortunate. A whole round of rotation didn't quite do me any good. But it's fine, since we counter him so hard, he's not gonna be able to do a whole lot. For the couple next levels. Janus is in mid and quite low in HP, we can ult him because his beads are down. Nope, his beads are not down. Yeah, and I get a last tower shot, that's unfortunate. That kill on a level 10 Janus uh, allowed me to catch up on levels with the enemy Hawa. But overall, I ran out of luck for this match, I guess. So, the very, very good start that we had. Oh, there's a big fight in mid. Let's join the party, maybe we can murder someone. Hiding over here, let's try and hit a stun. We did not... Whoa, whoa, what the hell happened here? I might have accidentally cancelled, I don't think so. Um, I guess it's my bad. Can still chase this Janus down, we have a stun. That's a good knockup. Yep. Oh, hello. A lot of poke. Actually, insane amount of poke. Oh, hello, Habwa. Still looking for Vulcan. He might want to help uh, Hawa here. Vulcan is here. Hello, Vulcan. Goodbye, Vulcan. We brutalize out. Ability to double dash on the Fenrir is actually something that a lot of people forget about. You kind of have two dashes. The big one and the short one. And both of them are considered not even the dashes, but the jumps. So you can get out of a lot of bad situation with that. Somewhat similar to a lesser extent to Sir Cat. There's a major fight in mid that I'm not going to be a part of because I'm pretty low and also have a lot of gold in my hand. So the way we're going to build this game is going to be high power with a lot of attack speed mixed in. And maybe some lifesteal from the Blood Forge as well. With our two, it will give insane amount of lifesteal. That will allow us to box most of the characters this game. Oh, hello. You are in trouble. Look at this damage. That's what I was talking about. As a jungler, he has to build into a lot of power. He doesn't have a lot of HP and... Oh, hello, Janus. 
Can I kill you, please? Like, pretty please? Okay, he juked that properly. I can still kill him, I think. Oh, not with the slow. We're fine. We're gonna immediately back. I don't think anyone can rotate here in time. Just notice that my team is harassing each other quite heavily. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be participating in that. So what I was saying is that uh, with the R2 that a lot of people underestimate, these 5 seconds we can box with a lot of power. And if we build properly with the lifesteal and penetration, we're gonna be able to box like a proper ADC. That will allow us a swift transition from the... Oh, how was that a position? I can murder him easily. He won't survive. I really, really hope that he actually did waste his ult here. That's Janus Beats. But even though the animation has started, he might have not uh, wasted his ult there. I'm not sure. As you can see, that's the main problem with Habwa. If he ults out and unable to finish me off with this, he still receives all of the damage of the Brutal Ice. There's a big fight, we're gonna come around. I unfortunately I missed my stun. I cannot get knocked up. We have to beat here, we're gonna get stunned by Ama. Oh hello! What are you doing, boy? Uh, I was definitely dead there, but Janice with an ult allows me to not die for free. Thank you, my man. So case in point regarding our build, uh, there's a new item, well, old item that was reworked in the Season 7, Malice, that has a crit chance and the cooldown now. Kinda the characters that are in between that you can get, build successfully into crit items and a lot of power and into an ability based on a lot of power now have an option like Sir Cat, Naja, and Fenner in this case, you have an option to have a boxing item. Oh, hello! I think we already did that. Let him contemplate his existence. Bop. Yeah, same spot, same situation. We gotta murder this man as well. Gonna box him a little bit. We're gonna stun. Okay. <laughs> I really underestimated his damage. He has a lot of attack speed already. Um, and Ikaval is something that I did not take into account. So, I was talking about a Malice, right? Malice. Crit chance, cooldown, a lot of power allows us to box while still having full CDR in the build. Very, very good item. Fits very well if you want to have a Fenner that is not useless in the late game. And we're gonna build it. And you're gonna see those crits, and they're gonna work really fine this game. So far, doing pretty well anyway. We're part of 14 kills out of 28. This last fight was a lot of kills that we were not a part of because we got murdered by Erlang. Look at that lifesteal. That lifesteal. We don't even have lifesteal in our build. Fortunately, that is down. Vulcan is extremely out of position. We're gonna hurry up there as fast as we can. I think he backed. Yep, he should have backed. And our Hobo is out of position and right for some reason. He should absolutely be dead by now. Looks like he has... Was that a blink? There's a lot of people in mid and we have a lot of attack power, but... Habwa still manages to kill himself, but we're gonna start a fight here. Let's do this. Look at that damage. That man just disappeared. Gonna grab her and put her into the tower. Unfortunately, the minions are here. We're gonna put her as deep as we can. Still looking at Janus here. Gonna portal out. We're gonna go back into the fight. Amjraster should be dead here. Janus got caught. Also dead. We're not gonna body block Merlin and allow him to go through and then start a fight. Not gonna underestimate him this time, we're gonna stun. And Apollo finishes the kill, which is totally fine with me. Should absolutely go for the fire gen right now, but Apollo wants to push that tower, which is unfortunate. But not the worst case. I really wish he dropped that speed, but don't think he will. He's way too tunnel vision for the tower. And we can finally back for our malice. The next pickup that we're going here is Aaron died. It's gonna give me additional CDR. With this build and already stacked up Transcendence, we're gonna have 30% CDR. 
with a lot of power with ability to crit and when we build blood force we're gonna have passive life scene in our build and our 2 to activate look at those crits it's 800 crit pretty sweet uh, without Deathbringer, we cannot pump out thousands with a hit, but this is still quite an effective damage. This thing is going down really fast. Hobbo should be somewhere around. Oh, he got stuck. Up. You see, you see, we can do that. That's really fun. Can I murder him? Shit. I should have let him. Oh, look at the man. Look at this man. VG is telling him we gotta mute this whole situation. And he dies. Yeah, way too busy VGS taunting. But I mean, you're 3 and 9. Are you sure you want to taunt that? So to summarize, we're 10k ahead. We should keep in mind that we're significantly ahead. I can drop this fire giant really quickly. Without even Habwa's help. I just need someone to secure around and behind the corners to make sure that it's not going to get stolen. I activated my 2 a little bit early. I should have waited and then heal up a bit with this. That's why we don't have full HP, but we should have full HP. Our boy's coming around. We're gonna blink and ult him. We're gonna follow him with the brutal ice. I mean, ulting here was completely unnecessary, but I'm fine with that. Over securing is always preferable, in my opinion, instead of just letting him go and allow him to make a play. I get knocked out like a bronzy, that's not a big deal. We got the fire, Emma should have backed, and I have enough gold to finish my Iron Dike. Right now we're gonna get some additional move speed and ability to box physical characters. At this point, Earl Lang, when I finish my stone cutting, is not gonna be a threat to us, will allow us to box him quite effectively. And we also finished our Iron Dike, which allows us to fight with our ultimate a lot more effectively the thing is you quite often initiate with your ultimate as a fender and i found out that iron Diet works pretty well with that allowing us to get that additional spike in damage after our ultimate we got gold fury my team is not here so we're gonna wait for the minions gonna grab this buff here but i really want to this tower with our power and attack speed this tower is going down really quickly. Unfortunate fight in mid. We got the fire giant and my team is not looking at the objectives. Which means that we're gonna just do that. I think there's a good chance I can drop a phoenix here. But maybe, just maybe securing this running away kill is a better option. I think Erlang just healed up with his ult. We're gonna catch him anyway. Nope, that's embarrassing. He should be dead anyway. Yep, good stuff. We're healing a lot. Oh, hello, Janus. What are you doing, Janus? Oh, damn it. Where did that Hobwa came from? I think he blinked, right? We are 15, 7, and 7. 7 deaths is quite a lot, but we're also part of 22 kills out of 42. Which is more than half, which is also preferable. There's a big fight in mid. Uh, looks like my team is finally pushing on the objectives while I'm not there. Which is extremely unfortunate, but we're gonna join that as soon as we can. We finish our stone cutting, so our boxing ability is quite huge. I apparently don't have a blink yet, and I forgot that we cannot blink through the walls anymore with a dumb blink nerf. Uh, help him secure the mid phoenix and we with our boxing ability and attack speed just look at that damage this this objective has no chance fortunately we need to disengage let's grab ama here need to disengage for a little bit yeah that janice would have killed me there this objective should still go down and now we can just successfully back away oh erlang what you doing my man we're gonna blink in there I missed the stun, he cannot knock me up, we're gonna cancel it because he will kill me if I allow him. And I did exactly that. That's a big forge. but guys are just looking at him. So I got a blood forge, and with the speed buff and stone cutting, we still move pretty fast, but we don't yet have our speed pod. We're gonna grab it after our next back because when I push out enough and grab the gold fury with my team, we're gonna be able to back for the speed pod. 
<laughs> Looks like there's a big fight on right, and we have enough minions here to secure the Phoenix. I also have enough attack and power to just drop the Phoenix easily as soon as the minions come in. So we're gonna do that and allow our team to just keep them busy. I don't think they anticipate me doing that. And that will also secure the game. We do a lot of damage here. Nobody's coming here yet. Look at that damage. Just 10 swings and this Phoenix is over. Jumping away from the stun. We're disengaging. Looks like Janus wants to die. We're gonna oblige the man. He beast. I was kind of expecting him. Don't want to follow up because uh, Vulcan and Hawa can kill me quite quickly. Both are very bursty gods. We're gonna disengage here. Swing a little bit at Amaterasu. I mean, they allow me to deal damage to Titan. I'm gonna deal damage to Titan. I don't know, guys. Why, why, why would you allow me to do that? That's like half HP of the Titan. Let's kill Vulcan here as well. There's a good chance that we're gonna murder him. Yep. And that'll be the Titan. I was kind of fucking around here, to be honest. We could have finished quite some time ago. 26 kills participation out of 52. It's not a perfect score, but still quite high. So in terms of builds, we, like I said, are building into more late game oriented build that will allow us to box and lifesteal in the late game with a lot of power, with some crit and still having a significant amount of cooldown reduction. With the pop, we're gonna have a solid 40% and with the stone cutting, crusher, blood forge and malice, we're able to box most of the characters. So that is a quite effective and quite interesting build that a lot of people don't really expect and don't really know how to play around. We're building Crusher for that additional damage penetration and attack speed, Blood Forge for the lifesteal in the late game when we sell our boots. We have Transcendence for cooldown and a lot of power and also MP5. We have Crit for from Malice with additional cooldown that it now provides. Erendite allows us a damage spike after we use our ultimate with which we initiate most of the time and Stone cutting allows us to box the physical characters quite easily. In terms of relics, we have a standard edition blink and beats. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Comparatively to the enemy jungle Habwa that we also were a direct counter unfortunately for this man. We completely annihilated him. He has 16 deaths and I'm pretty sure that two thirds of them are my doing. In terms of kill participation, we have 26 out of 52, which is a half of the kills, not perfect, but quite optimal nonetheless. And in terms of damage, we have 25k. I am not top on the field because Fenner is not about that deal. It's more about securing the kills and finishing off people. But still, we managed to rack up quite significant number, uh, considering that they have Habwa, Janus, and Vulcan in the enemy team. I should have probably considered building some magic defense, considering what pick they have. Very bursty, but very squishy mages. Comparatively, I out damage Habwa by 11k, which is really significant. But look at that wording. This is really 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 bad both mid laner and jungler were struggling so hard or frustrated to the point that they didn't put a single goddamn word on the map i think they have a couple buttons on their keyboard malfunction because i don't know how else would you explain that just just hit it somewhere somewhere around your walking keys and you should put a word down on the map you know on our team unfortunately the person that doesn't know the free words exist was our support. We should also put down the most amount, she put down the least amount. Unfortunate, but overall her gameplay was good and she also racked up more damage than I did, so can't really complain. Comparatively, our mid laner out damages the enemy mid laner by a little bit. Our ADC is almost twice the damage of the enemy ADC. Our solo laner is 8k ahead, which is quite significant. And our support surprisingly dishing out some numbers, tripling the damage of the enemy support, but not really in terms of mitigation. 
she barely had any defense and was not a fraud light to anyone. In my structure damage, I almost matched the Apollo, which is unfortunate, but I was quite focusing the structure damage, so that kind of self-explanatory. Overall, that will mean that this game was actually won by me, our ADC, and surprisingly, despite his weird build our support and that will be the game of Fenrir guys very strong god very easy to pick up very effective very fun to play a nice doggo looking guy and if you enjoyed the video pick him up and have a go at it yourself let me know how it turned out in the comments all right and if you're new to the channel please subscribe it helps me immensely and if you like the video leave a like on the video it helps the youtube algorithm show my content to other people which is much appreciated if you want to ask me a question or share your further experience leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my channel and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day